Hey all, double one eight Seth Shadow here. So, as before, there are lots of items to cover, so we're just gonna get straight into it for today. Our first item is going to be Bracing Angel Ladder, which, thanks to the reprint from set three, they're now available for as low as 950. And when it comes to the original triple drive set one, that one hasn't gone down enough to merit the difference. So, at this point, picking up the reprint is overall the better option in terms of a budget. And there really isn't any difference, given that they're both triple rare rarity, and the original doesn't have any real special aspect to it outside of the fact that it's from the original triple drive booster. Dayusha, this is our big item for today, where this one I had noted was pretty cheap from the initial get-go at two to three dollars to pick up and now we're already down to five listings on the triple rare at eleven dollars the market price is currently four dollars on this one no secret rares on the market the silver rare though is actually very similar to the triple rare right now which has been a very common trend we have been seeing ever since silver rares came into existence because it's basically like how we had frame rares versus whatever card had the frame rare, whether it was common, rare, or double rare. And yeah, it's 11.20 base to pick up the silver rare right now versus $16 market price. And the FFR, $49 right now. So uh, just another reminder that if a card, always check all the different rarities of a card that you're looking for, because if they're similar in value on the higher end, then it's a good chance that it's better just to pick up the higher end at that point. Torrential Energy Research has been running out of listings on the rare, and now the card is almost $3 base with a market price of almost $2. Thanks to Arkite's release in set 3, that's the primary reason for this. And for anyone trying to pick up EVA right now, that's also another reason why, given that this is played more in EVA these days. And then you've also got the FR version of this card, which is $25. The market price is currently around $20, but there are three listings on this one only. With Eugene's reveal last this past week, we have a few more cards that you want to keep your eye on, or rather, I think they're already starting to move no matter what, so you'll have to find other options in some cases. Drag Ridder Dirgram, which comes out of set 2 Divine, is down to 4 listings on the triple rare, and is now almost $2 market price, whereas the silver rare has also been bought out to the point of $7 with a market price of around $2.50. And if you want the FFR on this one, there hasn't been as much of movement on this. 10 listings overall, $21 is the base listing, but it is higher than its current market price of 18 so that is moving at least. There's also an older promo card that I haven't really covered this in a long... I haven't covered this at all, I think. Fierce Bullet of Duststorm Gnawfall, which I don't remember which pack this came out of, but... This one used to be about $4 for the last several months, and now it's been bought out to the point of 20 The highest sale on this one is more recent at $13, and we only have the one listing available at 20 right now. So if you are looking to pick up Eugene later, well, hopefully we'll see some more of these hit the market, given that... There were not too many of these to begin with, and it never really went down under $2, which is surprising. Battle Monk of Raging Flames, Roxe. This one has been getting buyouts here and there, and the triple rare is still only at 5 listings right now, with a base of $8, and the market price is closer to 10 The silver rare is currently at $12 base, and if you want to pick up the FFR, there are... $40 listings to start off with, but there are only 7 listings, so... Market price on that one, $46, and there are 18 listings on the Silver Rare, so there are plenty there. But given that discrepancy, I'm kind of curious, let me see where the spread is here. The Triple Rare only has 2 listings that are $8 plus tax, and then we have 12... It's basically 12 plus uh, shipping tax across the board for the Silver Rare. 
And there are at least three listings, $42 and under when it comes to the FFR. Obliger Dragon, which is the generic order searcher for Cater Sanctuary, similar to the other ones you get out of Divine Set 2. Right now, if you want to pick up the double rare, you might want to consider picking up the FR instead, given that pricing-wise, these ones are pretty similar in value. In terms of quantities, though, there are more double rares on the market, so it's easier to pick them all up from one seller in comparison. So if you have... If you want to just pick them up individually, the FRs, the FRs will be about the same price if you can justify the shipping cost as well. Forefront Knight Ted Fault has only seven listings on the market, but its lowest listing right now has 22 copies available. And after that, there's no consolidation anywhere else except for that low-end listing, which is $35. And after that, it moves its way back up to the 40s. Teth Vault has been basically the best order cycler to pick up over the course of time here, especially given you have Cleared World, which is a perfect card to suit for this engine. And so it gets played in almost any Cater Sanctuary deck, and when Alden comes out, it will probably get played in there as well. The Night Rose hype has been very strong when it comes to the Japanese market, and it has affected the English market quite heavily recently. There has been a lot of buzz around Conceited Noble Philander, which has been bought out yet again to $30 right now with only five listings. A little, a few days ago, there were only listings as high as $50, and there are no FFRs on the market right now. I mean, this is a really good generic for Stoichia in general, so it's no surprise that this one would eventually have a buyout but either way i still feel like it's we don't have night rose yet and we're not going to get it until january so we'll have to see what the results are in japan i feel like it's overhyped given that there's no multi-attack in night rose in the first stride whatsoever too which hurts its early game potential sea strike dragon and Nargov, which is also part of the night rose hype here this one i also have mixed feelings about it's great for stride fodder of course because it gives you draws and on top of that if you revive it with night rose it gives you more units to use for extra boosting or that but the thing about night rose though is to be able to use the night rose stride you would have to discard a night rose in order to use it so you can't use enlargan as a stride fodder if you're going for multi-attack turns Regardless, the card is currently $32, 8 listings on the triple rare, and then 6 listings on the FFR right now, $88 right now. Then you've got Nocturuzo, which, to the same point as Night Rose, you can't really use this for your second stride, because you have to discard a card with Harry in its card name in that case, but Harry at least does have multi-attack capability in the first stride. Regardless, Overall, set 13 between the Stoichia and the Dark State support cards has a lot more value now. And Nocturuso is currently $30, $30.50 with 9 listings. And the market price is also in the $30 range right now. And you've got the FFR currently at 100 with only 4 listings, but the market price there is only 88 Leonor and Vivius, you have to keep your eye on this one too. This one is short on stock no matter where you look. The triple rare is now down to 7 listings and is 750 base. There's only one FFR on the market at 110 and there are no secret rares right now. And that one has sold at a market price of almost $200. On the cheap end of what we got out of set 3, Gigantic Arm Silhouette got new support which is pretty strong overall but it hasn't really affected the price range of this card too heavily there are 13 listings on the triple rare starting at a dollar and the market price is still around there the ffr is still easy to pick up at about 1750 but the market price is cheaper right now at 1420 so it is moving on upward and it only has eight listings can't say the same for the secret rare though, which is lower than its current market price. The market price is 160, while the base listing is now 130, and there are nine listings on this card. Same goes for Mythark Lurzel. Even though Mythark's got new support with set three as well, 
it has not made any real effect on the triple R, which is still under a dollar for both its market price and its base listing, and it has much more listings than Silhouette does at 23. However, the FFR is shorter on listings and is now at 38.50. Only three listings available there with a market price of about 20. And the Secret Rare also has a market price lower than its current listing. The market price is around 86.50 and the base listing is currently 120. More movement has gone into Bobo Mine, which has only shifted it up further and further. Now the cheapest listing on the market comes from the Orpheus version, which only has one listing at just under $14. Then you have the original at $17 with six listings, and the reprint from set nine is currently at $24, and their market prices are all around $15 or underneath that. Even the 2023 reprint has a market price of $12.50-ish, but there's only one listing for it at $33, which makes no sense, given that the SP still has three listings available from $35, so no reason to go for the 2023 version when the SP is currently at around the same price. The cyclers from set 10 are starting to see some rebounds and, sell and buyouts like Kolgaflon, Five listings left on this card at $14 to start, and, excuse me, at this point we're looking at $14 all the way to $25, and the consolidation is more so around $15, so, but even then that's still only four copies. Leminia, which, Lemina is currently at around $20 to pick up right now. The market price has seen a drop off under $15, but it only has eight listings right now, and it has been seeing some pickup recently. Most of the listings, no real consolidation. There aren't too many copies left on the market either. So it's still moving from 20 all the way up to 25, and then the high point is currently $33 right now. Moving into Lyrical, as the Lyrical Monasterio Divine set is the next one up, we have Immense Aptitude Relier, which is which is Herminia support, but it can be used generically with Charmant as well, although I don't think Charmant would really use this as much as it did before. In any case, the Triple Rare is available, but there are only 7 listings on this one, and market price is just under $14, but available listings mostly range from 16 to 20 and then move up from there. Anthema Slap Twinkle, which is one of the Blitz orders to use for Lutetia, is overall sitting around $10 for its base listing, and let's check the copies real quick. Market price $6.50 on this one, and we have a lot of copies available at $10 or less at this point. And there aren't, and the highest listing available right now is $12, so it's not like it got heavily bought out, but Overall, the price has just been moving on upward with the last few months to this point. And our last card for today is Passionate Devotee Striad. This is a Lilfa support card, and given Lilfa is not as popular to pick up, well, I don't, I wouldn't see as much risk on a buyout of this one. This one was originally bought on the initial news. And it is still only at six listings as a triple rare, but when you look at the available listings, they're all basically $2, and then otherwise, if you pick up multiple things from some of these sellers, that justifies the higher pricing of shipping, but yeah. In terms of consolidation, they're mostly around $2, $3, so nothing too big. In any case, it is short on listings, so if you are planning to play Lalipa and want this, you'll have to look at what's left here or shop around a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.